Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is a new mod map tour of Jatoba Farm. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Um, this is by DH Modding, 110.07 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, in the mod hub, it says Jatoba Farm is a Brazilian map based on the region of the municipality of Jatai uh, Goyas. I'm sorry if I pronounced anything wrong. I probably am going to pronounce several things wrong. Uh, it says it has 29 large and medium sized fields with missions uh, with relatively rugged relief. A dealership with workshop and ramp for services accompanying a small town where it is possible to buy some houses uh, next door is the animal that's interesting we'll look at that next door is the animal dealer gas station next to the jty warehouse with a workshop grains can be sold at the jty and pioneer warehouse as well as potatoes and beets uh, the mill is the only outlet for sugarcane the abia market in town accepts potatoes beets and eggs to sell cotton bales wool grass silage and straw you have to go to the rio claro bales Milk is sold only at the dairy. You can sell logs and wood chips at the sawmill, BGL, BGA for silage work. To buy limestone, you need to take a trailer with uh, to the unloading point at the limestone limestone cellar. Excuse me. On the main farm, your machines can be stored in two sheds with a workshop for services. Uh, the main farm also has a house, pens for chickens, pigs, and sheep, as well as a water collection point. Besides the farm, the map has a plot of land only with a field and shed for customization. So there we go. Sorry, a bit of a mouthful there. Um, let's go ahead and jump into it. So we take a look in here. We'll go over to that in a second. Turn that off, turn that down, go across. Contracts again available on the field. That's a big contract. Of course, it's sugar beets, but still some decent sized fields on here. Uh, and again, this is for all platforms. I don't know if I mentioned that or not already, but it is for all platforms. Start with $100,000 in new farmer mode. You have lots of pieces of equipment in here, some of which need a little bit of work, it looks like. Uh, if we go over to here, here are our cell points. And on the map, where are we at? We are down right over here by the shop. So I'll walk around, look at all this stuff before we head out, probably buy a pickup truck. Um, but yeah, we'll drive up here, take a look at some of these cell points here, and then probably work our way up to here, and then over to, it looks like the farm's right over here. Yep, so starting land, you have field 23, it looks like there. So worth 730,000. Field prices vary. Uh, usually fairly expensive, looks like, but again, they're also massive fields. Now it said there was, yeah, little houses to buy. That's kind of cool. There's those three little houses you could buy if you wanted to live in there. Let me take a look at that. And the BGA is right there, which um, we'll want to buy that take a look at it. Um, you can buy all the area on the outside and all that stuff. So if you wanted all that, you can do that. So just so you can place stuff or do whatever you need to do with it, uh, which is very nice. Um, we're going to bump the time up to about midday. And I'm going to give myself just a little more speed, make it easier to walk around. But uh, yeah, let's add ourselves actually in a little bit of money as well. And we're going to buy the BGA before we get there. So we'll buy that real quick. Otherwise, and people ask why I do this. I do that so we can actually see um, what the what it's going to take in here. Because it won't show up in here unless I own it. So that won't show up in here unless I own that piece of property. Um, we're also going to buy a pickup truck for driving around. Which we'll come back to that when we're getting ready to leave. So this is the, the shop trigger here. We have, or excuse me, the repair trigger here for the shop. Shop right over here. And it looks like there's an ATM inside the shop. Which actually the inside looks... Really nicely detailed so that's nifty I like that but yeah there you go we'll head out of here we'll go take a right here first take a look at some of the sell points and stuff so here's our town where you can buy and sell stuff or buy and sell well you can have houses and stuff and then uh, atm here as well as there should be a sell point somewhere in this area is it right over here yeah, right here so this sell point where we're at we're at the abia market the Abia market is going to take your potatoes, sugar beets, and eggs. So there you go. Now, if we head further up this road here, nice church there. We got some cement, looks like cement uh, pipes here, or cement culvert pipes. I don't know. I can't remember what they're called. It's early in the morning for me. I can't remember words. Uh, there's our animal dealer right there. We head up and over this way. This will take us down to another cell point we have right over here. This is going to be our milk factory, I'm going to bet on. Here we are, right here. And we're at the uh, dairy station. Yep, okay, perfect. Dairy station is going to take, I said just milk, I believe. Yep, just milk. Oop, I don't need that on. And we'll head across the street here to the BGA. Beautiful, couple bunker silos, digester in, and your digestate out point there. And the BGA is going to take silage, grass, hay, manure, and slurry. 
And that is everything for the VGA. Now if we keep going. A lot of our cell points are over here, but next door we have, it looks like the sawmill. Is there an entrance for us? Yeah, up the road a little bit here. Yeah, so sawmill looks like it is right here. Wood cell point. Right here, I'm assuming. I don't see the checkers on the ground, but I'm betting it's going to be right there. Hopefully they don't make it pull it into here. They might, but... And should we have a wood chip cell point? Yep, that one's got checkered. So wood chip cell point right here. And again, if we look in here, we are at the sawmill. So that works out great. And again, the sawmill in here should just have wood chips on it, which it does. So there we go. Um, now we'll kind of on our way out. We'll stop, get our truck. We'll drive over here to look at the Pioneer cell point, And then we'll head up to the Rio Claro barrel. Bales. Rio Claro Bales. I cannot talk this morning. I need to drink some more coffee is what I need. That's got to be the problem. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay. More coffee will help me. <laughs> Hop in our truck here. Yeah, really well detailed map. The town area, at least so far, looks all really nice. We had a lot of Brazilian maps recently, which is pretty cool to see. Hopefully we get a lot of those in uh, FS22 as well. All right, so we have a cell point in here, right through there. Again, we are at the Pioneer cell point, so we take a look in here. Pioneers can take wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, sugar beets, potatoes, and that is everything. We'll come on to the Rio Claro barrel bales next. The Rio Claro, I cannot talk that, I can't say that specific name. Rio Claro bales. <laughs> oh, man alive. Nice, love the Farm Sim 22. <laughs> Love the billboard there. That's awesome. Try not to get hit by any cars. All right, coming up here. Oh, I hit a car. I thought I was going to avoid that one, but that didn't work very well. All right, here we go. The Rio Claro Bales cell point. Cell point, you can see the hazards just inside that garage there. They are going to take your cotton, your wool, your silage, grass, hay, and straw. So there you go. Now we look at that map there. We're going to continue on down this road to the sugarcane uh, mill. So that's where we'll go next. And that's going to be, for my understanding, the only place you can take sugarcane, which is fine. A lot of you guys probably won't even touch sugarcane. Maybe you will. I don't know. But <laughs> look, that's not the most popular crop on Farm Sim. It's not a bad crop, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad crop, nothing wrong with it, but just it is time consuming. All right, we'll try to loop around here. It's a big plant here. I probably went in the wrong way as well. They're probably not happy with me, but that's okay. What's a little anger in the morning? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys are like, what? <laughs> Here's our uh, cell point right here. Uh, so again, this is the, where is it at? Sugar cane mill. Uh, they're going to take sugarcane here for you. So there you go, folks. That's the sugarcane mill. We well, should be able to head up this road here. And I can't remember what cell point it is right now off the top of my head. But this a little dirt road next to 6 and 5 down there, bottom left-hand corner. We'll head through that one. That one should take us up to another cell point. There we go. We'll head straight up this road. There's a fuel point, And then there's another cell point. So... Fuel point, you can see that gas station right over there. That's your fuel point. We'll drive past it in a second. And then right ahead of us, we have a cell point just right in there. You can see under that shed there. And we are at the JTY warehouse. They're going to take wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, sugar beets, potatoes, and that is everything for us. So looking at the map, we're probably going to do from here. We're going to probably drive up this way, head up over here to the lime station, and then continue up and down over and hit the farm and then we'll hit the rest of it with a flyover to be able to kind of take a look because that might be a little shed out there you can buy we'll take a look at that when we get over there yeah we'll hit it with a bit of a flyover at the very end and we'll wrap up the tour again the tour is just to kind of give you a feel for the map give you an idea of what's on it and where everything is at so yeah it's a really nice map i like the way it's all i like these roads going through here actually i like kind of the more red ish soil look i like that but yeah, as Mr. Silly P would say, there's lots of undulations on the terrain. Of course, I can say that word, but I can't say anything else. <laughs> oh, boy. 
gonna be one of those days, you know, I can feel it now. It's the first thing I'm doing in the morning after I got brewed my coffee. Uh, but hey, I'll lime station right here. You should be able to fill up your lime by pulling up under here, under that little point there, and you'll be good to go. Oop, I hit that. All right, we'll head out this way, loop up this way. Take a look at all the cell points. Last thing we have to do is take a look at the farm, the starting farm that is. And call it some of these trees look really cool. Like that older one back there looked really cool. Oh, a little bit of terrain alteration there. Got me. That's okay. We're doing good now. Course play would probably be advised if you're going to work on these fields, especially if you're on PC. If you're not on PC, you can't use course play, unfortunately. But I think course play would probably help with some of these weird terrains and stuff like that and weird or not necessarily the train as much as it would the uh, weird shapes of the fields, I should say. But uh, yeah. Okay, we're coming up on the farm right in here. I see it right right through these trees here. So um, before we go in here and go running around the farm, let's go ahead and take a look at what we start off with in the store. So let's take a look at our garage. Start off with a New Holland T5 120, a Case IH Puma 185 CVX, 7210 Pro, one of my favorite tractors there. New Holland TX32, we also have a Bison Super. Uh, that's the pickup I bought. We start with that pickup, and then we have the Jawskin Transpace 8000. We have a TX32 header, header for the Bison. We also have a Corn Champion, which is nice to have that. Um, small plow, a small, this is a cultivator, but you could also seed canola, oil seed, and uh, grass with it. We have a planter. We also have a sprayer for herbicide and fertilizer. Um, then we have a solid fertilizer and lime spreader. We have water tank, front loader attachment with a bucket. We have weights. Back here, then we also have our sheep pasture, pig enclosure, chicken coop, and water station there, as well as our farmhouse, which all can be sold. And I bet rebought the mod of ones in here. Nope, those ones can't be rebought, but I'm sure that they look like they're probably just the base game ones. Nothing in there. Farmhouse can be rebought though, so that's nifty there. That one's already a placeable. They may actually release that as its own placeable. A lot of times they'll do that with maps and stuff, but. As you guys probably know but okay so we have sheep here on the right if i can find out how to i'd be over there maybe we'll try it over there oh yeah let's be over here this is probably where your wool is going to probably spawn right there put the sheep in 300 there um so nice like that we'll look at the inside in a second we'll look around the outside first and work our way in over here we have pigs so 100 pigs you can put into here is nice and then over here we have chickens which oh this is not these are not standard base game ones my bad on that 400 chickens there it's a lot of chickens there we have our farmhouse which i'm assuming has a sleep trigger right there for us pickup truck out front there and we have our two sheds in the middle which they mentioned having all of our storage and stuff like that so some of the equipment looks a little beat up but otherwise doing pretty good and this shed here should have yeah repair trigger open it up yeah, it looks like it's got, I don't think there's, these are, yeah, these aren't actual deals. I don't think they're a fill trigger or anything like that either, or storage. Uh, sometimes they'll be that way if they put the sprayer next to it, but yeah, nice. I like that. Nice little farm there. And then you have field 23, which is the one that loops out the back side of that. So we'll go ahead and do a fly over with this bad boy just to get an aerial perspective. So there's your starting farm and you have sheep over there. Uh, you have pigs up there, chickens down there, farmhouse, two sheds in the middle, and then this field right here is the one that you own right here is this one. So, nice setup there. We head out this way. This is kind of the main portion that we haven't taken a look at yet. I think that's the edge of the map right there. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's the edge of the map right there. So, kind of looks like it blends in pretty well, especially at this height. And that's the end of the match. edge of the map right there. So, you have these fields through here, and this will take us back down towards um, the uh, main... I can't even, the main town area, good gravy. Um, and then over here, yeah, you do have a little shed. If you wanted to buy that chunk of land, you could use that as a shed for storage. Main town area over here, you got the BGA, the sawmill, the dairy plant, all that stuff is through here. Your houses you can buy, which we never really looked at those too much. But, yeah, so a couple of these houses you can buy through here, which is pretty, pretty nifty. Um, let's just buy them. I don't know if anything's going to happen to them, but... I think this is one. Can you open that gate? Oh, well, let me do it when I'm in flight mode anyways, but I think it's this one. This one. And this one? Am I... 
crazy on that. Oh, it's definitely this one. And then, okay, the one on each end of that block. So that one at the end there, and then this one and this one. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So if you wanted to live or do some sort of role play thing, you could do that in here, uh, but that'd be kind of fun. We head up the main drag. This is gonna take us out to this side of the map where we have more cell points. And our bale cell point down there, the Rio Claro bales. Sugarcane plant up here in the corner. Then we got our, this is the JTY warehouse or whatever it's called. Um, then heading up this way, we have our lime point up there and then it loops back into our main farm. So yeah, that is the map folks. That is everything for you. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.